Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of my wonderful and juicy and delicious little subscribers out there. How I love you so, and I hope that you're all super duper delicious wherever you are in the world, my little babies, okay? And uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of my wonderful little passers-by, okay? I love you all so, okay? Three, two, one, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to make this quick. So, trying to get the lighting right here. So, I'm not going to let this rest now because I've just had to send up the other video really, really quickly on YouTube and it may seem like I'm not really bothered. Do you know what I mean? Well, I suppose in a way. I suppose I'm not really flipping bothered tonight, really, to be quite honest with you, because at the end of the day, I mean, I am bothered about getting the video out, but I'm not really bothered about, uh, do you get me? About, anyway, that's another matter. When me and my dear uh, and, you know, and delicious little friend Kaz, okay? My beautiful dear friend, right? When we were talking... There was, you know, some things that I want, you know, that we were discussing, that, that we wanted to discuss, and we did discuss it. And uh, one of them, and I'm not going to let it go, so what shall be, shall be right now. And then we're going to see how this rocks and rolls, shall we? Right? Because... When I was working as a funeral arranger, well, I'm not saying this to hurt or offend or upset anybody. No, I am not. But what I could not get my head around, okay? See, my wig, it doesn't look right. Please excuse me, everybody. It just doesn't look right. <sighs> Blue neck. Sorry, everybody. You know what? I'm in a really agitated mood tonight, everybody. Let me tell you. I really, really am. And it's not you, my beautiful and delicious little babies. You know what it is? I'm just flipping irritated right now. Oh, anyway, that doesn't look... I'll just leave it. Right? What it is, is this. Is that when I was a funeral arranger, there's something that I could not quite get my head around and it was when somebody's cut from here you know here all the way down to like your tummy area okay and of course that was back in 2011 right now and then of course you know when they wanted to um Shall we just say, you know, the embalming, which never in my lifetime would I ever want that. It is horrible and putrid. And God bless, God bless their dear souls that that's happened to. Well, with the men, what they do is they put an incision, you know, an incision in the neck. In other words, they cut into your neck. And that's why when you, you know, you'll see that, you, you know, one of your dear loved ones. So I'm not saying this to hurt you, upset you or offend you in any way. I am not doing that for any reason other than it is something and we were having a discussion and, okay, about different things, right? And you have an incision in the neck if you're a man. So that's where they can do the embalming, which means basically that they draw everything out of your body. And like, it looks like pink and white. Oh. Oh. It makes you feel flipping. Just if it, it's horrible, right? And it all goes into this container. And then what they do, 
No, so I'm going to say it. Seeing as I'm having everything else thrown at me. Well, that's okay. Let's have a, a bit more thrown at me, shall we? Do you sort of mean? Because now I'm really on a flipping roll, right? And then what it is, is that once they've drawn everything out of you, you, you know, God bless the beautiful dear little babies who've all passed away, adults, you know, because I only ever dealt with adults myself, okay? And, and I'm not so sure if I had to deal with a little bear or a little baby. I'm sure it would play on my mind for the rest of my life. Do you understand what I mean, right? Because that's just how I am, right? But what it is, once they've done all that, then you see the family send a photograph. So generally, okay, if you've got a loving family, because God, God bless, because not everybody has different lives, okay? Well, they've only got a short time because then they pump something else in into the face, right? This is the truth. Everything what I'm telling you is the truth, but you never hear the flipping uh, funeral, flipping directors, flipping tell you this. No, you will not. And then what happens is, is that you've only got a short time to, to make the face look like how who, whoever your dear loved one was, you only have a short time to get that face right, to make them look like that in the coffin. Yes. So, and getting back to this, what I'm saying, you know, like when you cut from there to there, well, that's not the, obviously the funeral directors, that's nothing to do with them. That's to do with other areas or the departments of different things in different parts of, um, you know, what, what are they called? Coroners? So one must ask themselves a question, and I thought about this years and years and years ago. Yes, ding, ding. I thought, well, why do you need to cut somebody from here right down to you? Why do you need to do that then? Jesus' name. I mean, if you imagine, I don't know. I mean, I mean, God bless, God bless them. But, you know, you have somebody who goes in who is, is about 15, 20 years old. Do you, get, do you get me? So, correct me if I'm wrong here, but could it be that parts of their body, God bless their beautiful and wonderful dear little hearts, May you rest in peace, my beautiful babies, that they already had their parts taken out without somebody knowing. Ding, ding. And I'll tell you how I know this. I already know anyway, because I knew from a long time. But... I was, anyway, I'm not going to go into it, okay? But I knew from many years, ding, ding, of what's been going on here. Yes. Do you see? And, you know, at the end of the day, well, how would any family member or anybody know? Because they wouldn't, would they? Do you still see me? This is a very shady business. Yes, it is. Ding, ding. 
I happen to know rather a lot. Believe me when I tell you that. And I, I, and I know, not only with all my research over years, years and years and years, I can assure you that now. But when one gets additional information, wow, ding, ding. Do you sort of me? So I'm not directing this at any funeral directors because it's not them personally. They're there to then perform another putrid whatever they do. That's what they do because I watched it myself. And I remember when I very, very, very first started. There's a beautiful God lover. God love you, my beautiful little babe. I'm not going to say a name. Dear lady's name. But, um, you know, because I have a heart at the end of the day. I care about others. And not only when somebody's living, but when somebody's passed, I care about them. And there she was on this naked. You know, where's the dignity? Do you, do you know what I mean? Where's that dignity? You know, that one would have when they're alive, that they should have when they're passed. And it's just like they're just nothing. It's like they're just like a slab of meat. It's disgusting what takes place. And anybody out there who watches my video tonight, I'm not here to hurt you or offend you or upset you. I'm telling you facts. Facts is what I'm telling you. So anyway, when I first started, I never had an apron on. I never had any gloves on. And I did ask, I said, I said, well, why isn't this dear lady covered up? You know, give us, give the dear lady, even though she's passed some blooming dignity. Ding, ding. Do you know what I mean? But then I said, I said, well, I said, can I, I'm going to tell you all something now. And it's something that you're probably going to say to yourself, oh, she's on one again, you know. Uh, well, if that's what you're feeling, mate, skip my channel, because I'm not. I'm really not bothered. Do you understand what I mean? Because I respect the living and I respect the past who passed over. I respect both, right? So if this isn't for you, then please skip my channel, because I'm in no mood this evening, right? And please and thank, thank, thank you. So I asked um, the woman, I'm not going to call her a lady because she wasn't. Obviously, she's there to do a job, isn't she? You know, with the embalming, drawing everything out of that poor, God bless the dear lady, elderly lady. And I said, I said, can I please hold her hand? That's what I asked. I'm not going to tell anybody her name because that's not what I want to do. And that's for my own reasons because I believe that this beautiful and dear lady, I have a name in my head, but I could see her now that I do not feel that, you know, I just want to explain something to you all. So I said, can I please hold her hand? And of course, nobody could understand why I was saying that. And I said, well, I said, I said, I do not want her to feel like she's on her own. Do you say? So I held a hand and then uh, then it comes to the funeral, you know, dates and everything. And um, 
Oh, I'll never forget it. It was really, really snowy and it was really, really winter and it was really, really... And the hearse had to go all the way up a, a long hill and everything to the home, you know, to pick up the family members, you know, to collect the family members. And then I was invited to the funeral. And, you know, I sat with this dear, beautiful, dear lady, God love her, and I sat with her with a coffin in the back of the hearse and I held on to that coffin like this. I held on to her coffin all the way. I said, I says, you're not on your own, my little beautiful, you're not on your own. And I, and I, and I stayed with her. I did. And I thank the family, you know, because I, you know, was uh, part of the, uh, you know, in the service and, and I thank them and I said, thank you very much for, you know, for letting me attend and, you know, and, um, you know, send my condolences and everything, you know, I can, I can just see a face now, I can see a face on this flipping Do you say? And uh, how much did they used to charge at the time going back 2011? Apparently, it was part of the uh, funeral package. Was it £62.95 pence, Br British sterling? Apparently, that was part of the package. You, you know, you, like you get a package, don't you? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's a bit like a... Uh, Car insurance or home insurance or contents insurance. It's like, well, it's part of a package, isn't it? Do you get me, everybody? What I'm saying to you, is it registering now? Is it registering what I'm saying to you? And then, of course, you know, we had uh, another, uh, God bless them, you know, uh, family member, you, you know, and then the family members, then they get rather angry, you know, because when they lose somebody, you know, and their, their dear family's in a coffin in the chapel arrest in the building, you know, well, they're going to get mighty upset, aren't they, some of them? So, you know, we went through many different, you know. But when somebody loses somebody, and then, you know, I went to another, um, you know, you know, I drove down to another, uh, well, it's another funeral arranging shop. One well, of the shops in there. Jesus, mate. And, uh, and I was there, you know, and sometimes the families just want to come in. They just want to talk. They just want somebody to talk to. Do you say? And then what my beautiful uh, dear little Kaz, what, what she was talking about earlier on the video, because obviously it's all been wiped out, as I said on my previous video, right? is that she was talking about uh, a beautiful young lad who's only 12 or something. I mean, I do not watch mainstream media, so I must be honest, everybody, I have not followed this story because I do not know about it, so I'm just being honest, I do not know about it, okay? But dear Kaz felt the need and it played on her mind all day. And apparently at 11 a.m. this morning, apparently they, they were, were meant to switch off his life support machine. But the one thing that dear Kaz had on her mind was, well, where's his organs going? Do you see what I mean? Which is what I've been saying for years. So they just want someone just to say, oh, the brain's not working no more. Do you get me? Hmm? And I remember... You, what is it about at least 15 years ago? I just got 14 actually, but 15 years ago, right? There was a dear gentleman 
who was um, he was in a coma, and guess what? And every time the you know the hospital said, well, no, we're going to switch it. And, you know, his dear wife, his, you know, his dear mum, his dear dad, they said, no, you're not going to switch it off. You're not going to switch it off. And you know what? After seven years, he woke up. Seven years. Well, what do they say? Every seven years, we have a cycle. So every seven years, our bodies change. Everything changes. It's like everything transitions. Do you see what I mean? In our bodies you know, who we are. So we all go through this, do you say? I mean, some may be like every eight years, some maybe every two years, three years, but generally it's every seven years. But after seven years, he woke up, you know. Look at that. Do you see what I'm saying? So when they're saying that everybody's brain dead, well, no, they're not. And of course, they put the dear families in a situation where they go, oh, you know, especially if you're feeling weak, you know, God love them. God love those beautiful dear families, especially if they're feeling weak. So oh, do you see, they believe everything they're being told. I mean, let's look at the brain. I mean, if we look at a brain, if we look at a human skull, Yes, uh, you know, our schools, right? Our schools are solid. They're flipping solid. It would take a lot. You could pick up a skull and you could throw it and it still wouldn't crack. It's like, um, the only thing I can put it close to is just coming to my head. You know, our beautiful, oh, beautiful, beautiful dear little elephants. And they've been flipping killed over the years, haven't they? For their tusks. But it's the same thing. It's it's like our brain, our skull, is made of something solid. So even if you was to th throw a skull, it wouldn't wouldn't crack. And I've got nothing across my shoulders, so that says no. So our brain is you know, it's a lot stronger than that. So over the years, what have they done? They've killed man, woman, little bands, little babies, where we've got our brains. Hello. Do you see? That's what they've done. And I know. So, you know, and I've known it for a long time, for years. I've known it for years. I try and tell everybody for years. Does anyone listen to me? No. Do you sort to me? Anyone who I tried to help, they do not listen to me. It's like, who oh, you know. I mean, I'm not saying that they've ever come up to me and said, well, I'm, you know, you're nutty. No, they haven't. But let me tell you, I'm more flipping sane, let me tell you, than what most would ever know of me. I'm telling you that now. I'm fully flipping sane, let me tell you. And I'm very flipping clued up. And that's what I have to say. So, okay, so yes, my videos, wherever they've gone, right? That's why I'm having to put them up straight away. This is why I'm having to do it straight away because it's just going to be gone, bang. Flipping ridiculous. I looked in my files, looked in my gallery, I looked in everything, they've gone. Right? But I want to make sure that I get my point across tonight. Do you say? Because at the end of the day, well, when we look at them, they're like killing machines, they've just been killing everybody, haven't they? Do you say to me? But that's all right, I mean, they can flip in, you know, stop me from this, stop me from that, well, do whatever they like.
I'm not really bothered. Do you get me? It doesn't bother me at all. Bring it on. Do you see what I mean? I mean, I've gone through harder in my life. I've gone through flipping very hard times in my life. Ding, ding. Let me tell you, I've got much thicker skin than that. But as far as I'm concerned, no, it hasn't been, by no means, been a very good flipping week for me. But it doesn't matter. But I just wanted to make sure I got this video out now, even if I only get part of it out, what we were talking about, at least I've got something out. And I know that it's not going to sit right with everybody. I understand that. So I am not here to hurt, offend or upset anybody. So if that is how you feel, I'm so very, very, very sorry because I know how delicate it is. But at the same time, the truth needs to be blooming told. And this is the truth. Ding, ding. And I would think very carefully to anybody out there who wants to get their dear families just for them to look all... For what, like I said, 2011, we're in 2022 now, aren't we? So the fact of the matter is, for them to look all... Do you know what I mean? What, what, what's all that about? You know, and I would ask anybody to question... So, well, why does my family need embalming? Why does my family member need embalming? Why do they need that? Because in reality, no, they do not. They do not need to be embalmed. It's just another way. They're the putrid, making money. But where is this solution going? Where is the contents of somebody's body going? But nobody's thinking about that, are they? No. Well. But you cannot blame for, you know, you know, they're just there just to do their job. Do you understand what I mean? But yes, I mean, I met some, you know, very sad with the families. Do you understand what I mean? Ding, ding. Do you know what I mean? And, and, and some of the dear families, God love them. They, you know, they used to come into our, I'm not going to say, I said shop earlier, but, you know, they came into, onto the premises and they just wanted someone to talk to, just for someone just to listen to them. And there's, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, is there? I mean, at the end of the day, each and every one of us out there, and this is where I said the world's become rather, the way it's gone, it's become selfish because everybody's looking out for themselves instead of everybody joining together. But, well, there are some joining together, but we need more. But the fact, and it is happening just very slowly. But the fact of the matter is, is that everybody needs somebody else to talk to. You know, just for them to know that they're not on their own. Anyway. That's all I have to say, really. But I'll always remember whoever, whoever, you know, was in my care. And God love them. God bless you, my beautiful babies, whoever was in my care. Because, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I looked after them the, the, the best way I could in that situation. Do, do you see what I mean? And I would only treat somebody as how I wish to be treated myself. Do you say? Ding, ding. Shoulders go up there. So that's all. Do, do you understand what I mean? Mm. And just to let you on, let you know, sorry everybody, one more thing as well. Many, many, many years ago, this is when I used to watch the television, I'm, I'm going back about, it's about 10 years ago now. And uh, what happened was there was this uh, lady and her dear mum uh, passed away. Now, um, there was like a, a field 
And then this farmer, this lady had approached this farmer, okay? This is in the UK, by the way. Ding, ding, see, I'm all gold. You see, I remember it now. I cannot remember the program. Otherwise, I would tell you the program, but I cannot remember it, which I cannot. If I could, I would gladly tell you all, but I cannot, you know, to help. But he agreed to let this lady bury her dear mum and her dear mum was alive at the time by the way and she was fully up there with her old noddle god bless her right so they made this decision together now all that had to happen was that you 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 dug a hole like six foot deep right and you could either get get a coffin or you know wrap in you know, fabric or okay, okay, and, you know, lower, okay. And, um, well, uh, how much did it cost that dear lady? £620, that was 10 years ago. Yeah, ding, ding, £620. And uh, she paid... The um, farmer, uh, you know, a, a bit of pound, shilling, pence, dollars and change, not a lot. And he said, yes, he says you can, yes. And even a dear mum while she was alive and, you know, and, and she asked a dear mum, she says, well, would you be happy because her dear mum was in her 90s? And she said, well, would you be happy here? And her dear mum said, yes, she says, because look at all the greenery, it's just all green and everything. And then what her daughter did is that once she buried her, she buried her herself, you know, with with, with a, a family member and a friend. That's that's what she did. Did it herself. And uh, and they lived in like a little motorhome. Mm -hmm. And uh, and guess what? And you know, a dear daughter. You know, she just went there, took a deck chair. You know, took a deck chair, and just sat there to dear mum's grave and that was like in the middle of a field do you, do you get me that a farmer had let her have so that was 10 years ago so how many of them now are doing that that's what you've got to ask yourself ding ding do you still see me so hmm one has to ask themselves many questions and that's all I'm saying, everybody. Something you just made me say that now. But yes, the dear mum, oh, it was beautiful. And the fields and everything, the dear mum. And that's what she wanted. And, you know, even with the, with the uh, coffin and everything, you know, brought her in the motorhome and everything and then lifted her out. And then it was all done beautifully. All for 620 quid, 620 pound. So you miss out the flipping middle, man. You miss out the front. You miss out the back. And you just get straight to it. I'm not being nasty. Do you sort of mean? Like in the UK, if you want a decent uh, funeral or whatever, yes, and you want a decent whatever you want, right? I mean, come on. Some of them are paying flipping 10, 20 grand. Huh? Are they having a flipping laugh? But that's, that's what it is. And then, and then if you're cremated, well, the little bits and pieces, they pick up all the gold, by the way. You know, like when you, you, you're in the uh, hots, yes? They, they pick up, uh, when it's all, they pick up the gold. And I know that, bang, bang, bang. I've known it for many years. 20 odd years I've known that for. So I know exactly what they do. So they're still making pounds, shilling, pence, dollars and change. So please do not feel sorry for them. Okay? And then what do they do with, when people scatter their ashes? They scatter it back into the ground. And then what happens? It feeds the grass. It feeds the... And then what happens is with our food and then we eat it. Well, that's the truth, isn't it? I never wanted to say it months ago because I didn't feel comfortable, but now I do. Because it needs saying. 
and then in in America, right? And and take a look at um on Bitchute. I looked at him a couple of years ago. Mag M A G Bitter Truth. I mean, okay, some of you may not like the way that he talks, okay, because you know Jamaican, you know American, what you know or African American, you may not like, but you know what? I get him. I get him fully, bang, bang, bang. And he was showing that in America, that what they're doing is they're putting like the liquid, you know, like whoever's passed away. And this was uh, over two years ago, and uh, and they're putting the liquid in a, um, you know, in these large containers, then the farmers put them on the back and they spray them into, oh, sorry, and then they spray them into all the blue fertiliser. Do you see? So when everybody starts flipping, waking up, hello, hello, then we're all on the same song sheets anyway. I knew a lot years before anyway. And that's why I said, um, you know, sometimes I just, you know, like if you've got to eat something or something like that, because you, in my mind, and this is from years and years and years ago, I think, oh, and because I've known so many different things, I think, oh, but yes, if you look at it, well, I'm not going to say it, but we all know what I'm talking about. Do we not? Yes, we do. And then I've seen something uh, rather recently, you know, where these putrid, you know, them, and then they're wanting everyone to become uh, cannibals, like cannibalism. Well, it makes you wonder, doesn't it, when they brought out, um, what was that, Silence of the Lambs? And when they brought out, you know, like with the aeroplane that got stranded in, um, in all the snow and everything, and then they had to eat each other. See? All comes to my mind. It's all coming back to me now. That's all I want you all to look at, my little lovelies. Now, can I please just say, and I'm not going to apologise. What I am going to say is, I hope and I pray that I have not offended or upset anybody. That was not my intention. What I want to do is for the ones out there, not for the ones who are woken up, my delicious and beautiful little babies. I'm talking about my beautiful and delicious little babies who happen to stumble across me and they have not woke up. I want to teach you something. Bang, 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 wake up. Because this is what has been going on for years. And I already know all of this. Long time. But when you try and talk to others, do they listen? No, they do not. Because they think I'm cuckoo. You know what I mean? Like I'm on planet Nanu Nanu when I am not. And the only ones who understand me are my dear and beautiful and delicious little and wonderful friends because they get me and my eldest daughter gets me she gets me do you sort of me so at the end of the day i do not have to justify myself to anybody i'm trying to help here to get others to understand things and i'm hoping that my video has given some food for thought but like I said, you know, funeral directors, they're not going to tell you everything. But anyway, I've done nothing wrong. I haven't said what company I worked for. I haven't said anything. But let me tell you, if any funeral director wanted to come and challenge me on what I've said, they never will. Because they know that what I'm telling is the truth. Bang, bang, bang. They know it. That's why they never come to me. Do you sort of me? And it's as simple as. So all I'm getting you all to do, my little beautifuls, is just to spare a thought for what I've said. That's all I ask you to do. I'm not telling you to, you know, and I do not wish to upset you, but the fact is, just take a look. That's all I'm wanting you to do, okay? And if you do not, well then, that's your own business. 
isn't it? It's not my business, it's your business. You know what I mean? But for those who want to live in, you know, cloud cuckoo land, cuckoo, cuckoo, we'll leave you to it. Do you sort to me? But I'm not going to be living in that flipping land of cuckoo, cuckoo, or planet nanu, nanu. No, I am not. I just tell it the way it is. And this was part of our conversation today. But of course, my video just got, our videos just got completely wiped out. Anyway, so I'm going to leave it like that, my little delicious beetles. Okay, so on that note, like I say, if you know, if any of you feel offended, I'm, you know, I'm sorry that you do. But then I'm not sorry for what I've said. So if that's how anybody feels, and it's not just because I'm in a bad mood because I've had a bad week. No, it's not. It's because the video was part of what I've been saying. So I wanted to at least get some of it flipping up. Do you see what I mean? But anyway, on that note, my delicious babies, much love to you all, my delicious little babies. Okay, I just say things the way it is and not everybody's going to like it. Well, that's the way I just rock and roll. Do you see what I mean? If anybody gets me, understands the way my mind ticks, then we're all on the same song sheet. But if you're not my little lovelies, then maybe you're a little bit way behind and you need to catch up and that's not being disrespectful anyway. So on that note, much love, God bless. And till the next video on my brand new channel, take care, thank you for listening. Have a wonderful time wherever you are in the world, okay? God bless. Thank you, bye-bye.